Ford Performance's chief engineer has reacted to criticism of the brand's choice of power plant for the new Ranger Raptor, saying that the fresh-faced off-roading backy is not about the engine. Revealed in Thailand, the new Ranger Raptor employs a 2.0-liter four-cylinder twin-turbo diesel engine worth 157 kilowatts and 500 Nm. While those peak outputs best the existing 3,2-liter 5-cylinder turbo diesel milled by 10 kilowatts and 30 Nm, they also see the Ranger Raptor trail the likes of the highest output Volkswagen Amarok V6, 165 kilowatts 550 Nm, and the upcoming Mercedes-Benz X350D, 190 kilowatts and 550 Nm. Speaking to South African media after the reveal in Bangkok, Jamal Hamidi, chief engineer at Ford Performance, said that the focus should not be on power. The Raptor is not about the engine. It's about the chassis. Those shocks cost as much as an engine, literally, he said, referring to special Fox racing dampers. If you're talking about power, if you're focused on power, that's not a Raptor. That's not what Raptor's about. It's about the chassis and the suspension added Hamidi, who has been responsible for the development and delivery of all high-performance Ford vehicles globally since 2013. The Ranger Raptor uses a new 10-speed automatic transmission, with drive sent to all four corners. The beefed-up backy offers as many as six distinct driving modes, and features coil-over rear suspension with a Watts link arrangement. Ford has yet to reveal performance figures. And, honestly, when you go off-road, the whole idea behind this is conservation of speed. So, you're not braking, accelerating, braking, accelerating. You just need a power plant to keep you going. <laughs>